Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to increase the power of your hot tub jets. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you found this video, then you're looking to increase the power on your hot tub jets. And hopefully by the end of the video, I'll give you some options that you can explore. And I will preface this with, in some cases, it's just not possible and it's just not gonna work, unfortunately, and it can be limitations of the plumbing. However, let me start by going through some of the options that can help you increase the power of your hot tub jets. Now, before I do so, always a great opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so with that out the way, let's look at the first thing that we can do to increase the power on our hot tub jets. First things first, have you got a blockage or an airlock? So if you have suddenly lost power on your jets, then you might have a blockage in the lines, you know, maybe part of the filters come off or broken off or some debris got through the filter into the lines or something's blocking the pump. So these are all very easy fixes that you can do yourself to help increase the power on your jets. So if you've suddenly lost power on those jets, then it's highly likely to be a blockage, maybe even a broken impeller, or if you've just refilled the tub after cleaning it, then it's likely to be an airlock. And I have videos on my channel on how to fill tubs to avoid airlocks. And I also have videos of how to remove airlocks from your hot tub. So you can search uh, build a hot tub and airlock and you will find that on YouTube. Okay, so let's move on to look at some of the, the bit more involved ways in which we can increase the power on our jets. And these are really for maybe you've inherited a, an, an older hot tub and you want to you know, kind of remodel it and, and improve it. Or maybe you, you know, you've bought a new home that's got one in ground that you, you're not really happy with the, the power of the jets. These are things and questions that, that come across my desk quite often. So I thought I would put this video together to, to help with that. Firstly, you can go with a bigger pump. Now, you've got to have a look at what's in there already. So for example, if you have a two horsepower in there, don't go crazy and, and try and double that and put a four or a five horsepower in there. You know, increase it to say a three, maybe even a three and a half horsepower, and that should give you some extra pressure on those jets. Be mindful of the current draw. So if you're increasing the size of the pump, the chances are that you're increasing the amount of current that that pump is gonna draw. Check firstly that your spar pack is capable of delivering that current, and secondly, that your breaker is set accordingly with the right wiring that is gonna allow you to draw that extra current without tripping it. And of course, a qualified electrician can tell you that and make certain that everything is safe before you go and change that pump. The next thing that you can do to increase the power on your jets in your hot tub is separate the circulation and the heating from the jets. So there's a lot of systems that have a dual speed pump that will do both the circulation and the jets. Now you're gonna to need to do some plumbing remodeling here. You're gonna to need to split the intake. You're gonna to need to split the outward or discharge to the jets to make sure that the existing pump runs on the heating and the circulation and then you can put a new pump in there. It's got to sit in parallel. It's no good putting this in series. So you are gonna to need to modify the plumbing to allow two pumps to draw from your current inward suction drains. And the existing pump, you would then configure to discharge onto the circulation and the filtration loops. And the second pump or the new pump, that would go onto just the jets. You are gonna to need to trace back the flow of your jets so that you can get that plumbing in there. 
Of course, this is something I can help with. I can help you with the redesign of plumbing. So if this is something you want to explore, get in touch either via buildahottub.com or in the comment section and we can take it from there. So adding a separate pump for your jets and splitting the circulation and the high speed jets is one way of increasing the power into the hot tub on those existing jets that you've got. And lastly, the last thing that you can do to increase the power of your hot tub jets is remodel the plumbing. So why would you want to do that? Well, if you're on a, an older tub with older plumbing, maybe you've got some leaks in there as well, it might be time to just remove it, look for a total remodel, get some new jets in there. Your shell, your shell if that's in good condition, then it's, you know, relatively inexpensive way of essentially getting yourself a brand new hot tub. You can remodel the plumbing. It's not as difficult as it may seem. Again, it's definitely something that I can help with and I can help improve the power on those jets with a plumbing remodel. So again, if this is of interest to you, please do get in touch either in the comments below or via builderhottub.com. So there we have it, a couple of ideas to explore on how to increase the power of your hot tub jets. Hopefully you found this short video useful. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.